Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Gmo from Workshop Republic and today I'm gonna to show you how I made this awesome office table for my personal office in just a weekend. Let's just jump into the build. All right, so first I start opening the countertop that I bought from Ikea. And this one is called Hamarp. And I decided on this one because this is the one that they have that is solid wood. Um, Unlike the other ones, most of the other ones that they sell that are made of particle board with a veneer on top of it. And this is a big one. I decided to go with the biggest that they had, which is uh, 26 inches deep by 98 inches in length. Because I wanted a big desk for my office and the space that I had. And first I started off by sending it. It doesn't come with a finish, so you have to finish yourself. But it does come with a protective oil on top of it. So yeah, I sanded all that down really good, up to 220 grit. And take your time, make sure you get all the edges. I did it on the underside as well. And for the finish, I decided to go with natural Danish oil, which brings up the natural color of the solid oak on this countertop and it just looks awesome. And by the way, just a quick tip, if you never stain something in your life, don't do as I did and make sure you wear gloves because this thing is pretty sticky and it's pretty hard to take it off of your hand. Here I'm just making sure that I got all the edges and don't mind all the mess behind me. I had just moved into this house about a week ago and everything was still a mess from the move but the garage now is my workshop and it's looking very very good and I'll show it to you guys soon in a new video. After applying the finish, we have to wait 15 minutes, get a clean rag, wipe the excess off, and then we can turn it and do it on the opposite side as well. Uh, then we let it dry for 24 hours, come back, do a light sanding, and apply it all over again. And we probably do this three times. Okay, so next step is we're assembling one of the legs of the table that's made out of black iron pipes uh, with a few different fittings. So I'll show you guys how I did it. Okay, so I drove to my local Lowe's because I found this product, this steel tech iron pipe and it's threadless. So it is a black iron pipe without any treads and it's made for furniture building or decor in your house. So you're not supposed to use this as a regular uh, pipe. And as you can see, they have a lot of different fittings and a lot of different sizes as well. And the best part of it is cheaper than the black iron pipe. So I paid $12.98 for this 10 footer. And while the black iron pipe was actually almost 21 bucks, for the same length and the same size. So take a look at that one if you're looking for building a project that will require some black pipes. Uh, the pipes are pretty much uh, clean, but they do have some writings on them. So I got some acetone and did some cleaning on them to remove the writings. Also, the thing that I like the most by using this threadless pipe is you don't have to worry about the size uh, as you do with 
regular pipes where you have to screw the pipe into the fitting because the fittings are basically screws that tighten the pipe inside of it so you can get pretty good results just by tightening the screw and getting the correct dimensions that you need for your project so as you can see here i'm basically assembling the leg and it's a super simple process it only took me 10 minutes to complete so next step is i'm actually putting the leg in place making sure it's spaced correctly and where i need it to be I'm using these wood screws that have black heads. Uh, I'm only using those because I already had it with me. Uh, you don't have to, just grab normal wood screws and spray paint the head black if you need it. Here I'm just pre-drilling the holes and getting ready to assemble everything. My drill bit left some markings on the black head, so I just grab a Sharpie and fix that. Okay, so here I'm just marking the location where my wireless charging is gonna be under the desk, and I'm freehanding this with a flush trim bit. And I'm taking a little bit of material uh, every time and testing it out to see if it is actually working. So take your time, make sure you test it remove a little bit of material and when I was happy with it I just put it in place with some hot glue because I want to be able to replace this in the future if it breaks So the other side of my desk is going to be held by an IKEA Alex cabinet and since I know you do not want to see me put this cabinet together, let me just show you uh, what it looks like. With the cabinet together, all that was left was just bring it to the office and assemble. So I got my wife to help me bring the table back in and I had to remove the legs so I could come through the doors and it was just a simple unscrew and screw back together. And with that, I had my desk in place. I decided to add some LEDs to the back of my desk to go with a couple of the lamps that I also had bought. So this one is from Lumari and it's a five meter LED strip and it was perfect for the size of my desk because I could just run it all the way from end to end without having to cut or do anything else to it. So as you can see, everything just worked out great. And by chance, the LEDs in the top and the bottom were offsetting each other. So I got a pretty good coverage on the lights throughout the whole desk. Also, this is a smart LED strip, so I can have my Alexa control it, along with all my other smart devices. And here you can see what I mean by the offsetting each other. And after all of that, I finally have my desk.
All right, I had a blast making this desk. It was such an awesome project to do, and it only took me a weekend. Uh, I think the part that took longer was mainly the staining and waiting for it to dry, sanding, and doing it all over again. Uh, but otherwise, everything turned out awesome. Also, my wife loved the office, and she's kind of like taken over uh, as well. Uh, it doesn't look that way, but 10 minutes ago, this table was like full of stuff. So I'm gonna build an extension desk here on the side so she can also uh, spend time in the office and work on her own stuff uh, here. And we can both have our own spaces to do that. Uh, so I'll have that video probably coming up as well. So just keep an eye out for those. If you have a suggestion for a project, please leave it down below. Uh, as you see, this channel is just starting, so I'm getting a lot of ideas from you guys, and I'm sure gonna build that out for you guys. So make sure you like and subscribe and hopefully hit that notification bell so you can get notifications of all the next videos that I put out, of all the stuff that I'm also doing in this office and all the cool stuff that I already have uh, planned to build for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye. Make sure you subscribe or I'll put out a 90 minute video on a hundred different ways of doing pocket holes. And I really don't want to do that. <laughs>